Hello everyone, this is Dennis, VE1XT, here again with another video on log for ohm Today I wanted to go through the process of configuring your application to send you alerts via either a screen pop or an email in um, your inbox to notify you of either a special call or a country not worked or a confirmation that you have not received. Something of the sort to let you know that there's something on the bands that you would like to see. Um, this is a really neat feature that is embedded in the application and uh, it does take a little bit of configuration to get it to work. Um, you can also use this feature to send yourself notifications on your phone uh, via a server called a growl server, G-R-O-W-L. Um, we're not going to get into that in this video as it's something I've not yet tried and I do have to do some additional configuration on another computer to set up the, the growl server. So maybe in a future video we'll go through that. But for now we're going to show you how to set up the email alerts and the screen pops. So to get started we want to go to the settings menu and the options feature and this time we're going to go under services and here is where we configure how the application communicates to the outside world as well as um, you can do things like uh, connect to FLDG and whatnot to the to your application but uh, th this time we're just going to basically show you the uh, screen pop alerts and the email alerts. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the communicator open, which basically we do so by clicking the start button here. And once we do so, it will open this uh, application in the background, this window here, where we uh, <clears throat> see after we click start, um, we see this log for own communicator. So we do want to click stop um, as we can't edit the settings while, um, while that service is running. So here we go to settings, out, or sorry, notifications. And in here, um, what we want to specify under email settings here is you do need to have an email um, configuration, uh, usually uh, an outbound email server provided by your ISP or a personal one that you use somewhere as you would have this information configured in your email uh, client. And for this example, I'm using my ISP's uh, outbound SMTP server, which runs on port 25. And I associated it with my IF, uh, ISP uh, email address, which I don't generally use, but it's good for this test. So once we put the information in here, sender address, SMTP server, and port. Um, if your SMTP server does require SSL and authorization, such as a username and password, you can go ahead and put that in here. Um, the other settings here are for this growl server, which I previously mentioned, but we're going to skip over that for the time being. So once you get your information in here, we'll uh, go ahead and click the test button. And by doing the, by clicking on the test button, that will um, send a test email to this email address. So if we look over here, we do get mail. And look, there we go. Here's my ISP email address, and it has, this is a test from log for ohm So we know that the email functionality is working. Once we have that in there, we click save, and then we can exit out of here. And if you want to make sure as well, um, you can also check the activity log. And here we see that uh, we send the test mail, the destination address, and that it was sent successfully. So back under the interfaces tab, now that we have uh, this notification set up, um, generally I will click start. Select the auto start option here as well. Um, this is something that I generally like to have set up when I um, open my application. So we'll leave that as, as is. And we actually want to just minimize this and let it run in the background. And now we'll click save on the settings here. And so now that we have the first part configured with the outbound email uh, settings, we can also go to the alerts. Uh, so under settings and alerts here, here's where we'll configure the actual alerts. So we have a few options here. Uh, first, you want to set yourself your email address up to whatever it is that you want to send your notifications to. Um, <clears throat> and we have to create rules or alerts here, basically. So we'll click the plus sign. 
and we'll go to alerts. So we click the plus sign, we'll go to alerts. And here you can type in a description. So um, here we'll use new entity not yet worked. And here, if you wanted to specify some criteria for, um, you know, if you're looking for a specific call sign, if there's a specific uh, call sign of the spotter that you want to put in, um, you can do that where there as well. And you can also select the different continent um, for the call sign that was spotted or the continent for the spotter. And uh, so here we'll go ahead and select the bands that we want to be notified. Um, I generally work 80, 40, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, and 6, just for an example. And in this case, um, we'll select phone. If, if you work CW or digital, you can also select um, the options for those. And you can also um, select a specific country as well if you want to, or a specific country or entity here if you want to uh, get a little more specific. And uh, here when we do country checks, um, we can basically check for whether or not we've received a QSL card, um, uh, confirmation via EQSL or validation by a log for the war, war, logbook of the world. Um, so what I'll select here is new one, new on mode, new on band, and new on band and mode. So that'll tell me when there's something new that comes up uh, that I haven't either worked or I haven't worked on that band or I haven't worked on that mode. And uh, so that'll give us that. Um, you can also specify um, if you want to have filters for um, islands on the air. And there's uh, different spot things here too if you want to specify, if you want to make it a special, like if you're looking for a special call sign, or if you want, you know, only those people that use log, uh, Logbook of the World. So we'll go back, we'll double check and make sure everything's set the way we want it to. Um, we also want to check that there's two different alerts here that we want to check. We want to check log for ohm alert and email alert. That will give us the email alert as well as the um, pop-up screen that we'll be looking for um, on the computer here. So then we'll click save. And now we see here under um, the description, we have the name of the, of the uh, filter, the new entity not yet worked. And here we're going to get email and we're going to get an audible alert as well. Um, I found that the audible alert didn't really seem to do what I expected it to do. So I might have to do a little more research into that. And here you can also enable or disable the, the filter. So once we got that all enabled, we'll save. And here on the screen as well, here's your sort of your master switches. Um, the push alerts, I believe, are for the growl server alerts. So now we're just going to turn on log for home alerts and email alerts. And we can now close this out. As we can see, the communicator is still running in the background. And Windows likes to pop that little notification when it runs in the background. So the other thing I've also found that sometimes to get all of this to kind of work together itself, um, we may have to um, we may have to close out of the application and go back in. And I'm going to double check on the settings here, options, services. I generally want this uh, WCF service to start, um, which to start auto. Um, so we'll save and we will stop this, close out of the application. And once we're closed out of the application, we'll just go ahead and reopen and as you can see here now that we've reopened the application the communicator started automatically in the background we minimize that and basically we just have to kind of wait for the new spots to come in I guess I'm not entirely sure what 
everything is that we can do with the WCF uh, or communicator services. Um, pardon me if I'm using the incorrect terminology. Uh, it's something I've just kind of started to look into. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just kind of wait. Um, we can see, take a look at the cluster here. Um, and maybe we'll just select all bands. And hopefully shortly we'll receive another spot somewhere that will um, start to pop up the uh, alerts and whatnot. It can be in the example of the uh, new entities not worked where it's quite possible that you could receive a fair number of alerts. Um, one thing to keep in mind would be that if you are sending emails to yourself, um, just keep in mind that you may your ISP or your outgoing mail server may decide to um, throttle or maybe they'll flag those particular messages as spam. So it may be a good idea to use more concise and more uh, direct filter rules so that you can look for specific, uh, for example, if you're looking for specifically for Australia, as we can see, there's uh, VK6 APZ here active. Um, so we can see you know, maybe just get alerts for that particular call or that particular country on, you know, 40 meters. Um, I know the other day when I was originally playing with this, I found that, you know, within the span of 10 minutes, I had received a dozen email or so. So it's quite possible that, uh, it's quite possible that we could uh, <clears throat> get, you know, we could sort of, the ISP may think of it as spam, I guess, and may decide to, um, and may decide to filter that out. Now I do see that a new spot did pop up. Let's see. Um, we're currently not receiving anything. That is started. Let's check our double check our notification settings and see how when that's enabled we don't uh, receive the. Uh, we're not able to edit the box here. And. So I don't see it attempting to send out an email here. And this, this uh, activity log can be very uh, helpful um, when, you want to, uh, when you want to troubleshoot these issues. So let's have a look and see if we can figure out why we are not receiving. Okay, so that... So maybe we want to stop start this up again let's see save that tcp and here you can see that uh, you can get you can receive inbound and outbound uh, connections from fl digi that's another thing we'll have to give a try here in uh, in uh, a little bit well a little bit at some point um, okay that looks okay Okay, so now we've received, here we go. So it may have just taken a little longer to take effect um, than I had originally anticipated, but in the bottom right corner, we do see a notification here for, um, I guess when you minimize that, it also goes away. Um, so we see the source is the cluster, the rule is new entity, not yet worked. Call sign is A25UK. Country is Botswana, spotted on 14278 on 20 meters. And here you also see the note that was put into the cluster. So if we look at the cluster information here and we look at Botswana here. Oh, I did not intend on doing that. Um, we see that, you know, up for WWA great ears. And in our little alert, we also see the same note. So we basically get the same information that we get on the cluster, but we don't receive that, um, or, or we, we receive basically the same information as we have on the cluster. And if we go back here and we check our email, there we go. Um, here you can see it came from my ISP email address. And we see basically the same information, the source, the call sign, the country, spotted on frequency. Um, it may be possible. I haven't looked into it, but uh, I would be I'd be interested to know if we could possibly change the format of these emails. It's quite possible that uh, we can, but uh, we may have to look into the 
configuration files. Maybe there's a template or something, but uh, I'm not aware of anything off the top of my head. So being that it's uh, a little bit slow here um, on the bands, um, we're not getting a whole ton of these pop-ups. However, you can see that another one just popped up here. Um, Turkey, um, which oh, is also interesting. There does appear to be some uh, activity on six meters as well. So it may be time to get on to that after this. Hi. But uh, so basically that is what I wanted to show you for the um, uh, alert feature here. Um, and we do see that uh, we received another one. Uh, Gmail likes to group everything all into one. So, but that's pretty neat if you have uh, your email on your phone and you get notifications for that you could you know if you're like me um, that's my email address at my domain name um, I could go ahead and create a, a secondary email address and let's say notifications at my domain name and you know attach that in on my Android phone and then I'd receive a notification um, like I received an e like I when I receive an email and then when I check it I would see that there's new spots or whatnot so that's a brief overview of this, or maybe not so brief, depending on your uh, point of view. Um, I do really appreciate everybody watching, and I appreciate everybody uh, being patient with my stuttering and stammering and, and whatnot. Um, I'm still getting used to uh, recording these videos. It's something I've taken up re relatively recently, and uh, I've never done a whole lot of this before. And I guess it also... Uh, helps a little bit with my mic shyness um, that's one thing uh, I do really like to work uh, HF but uh, sometimes I go through these little bouts where I'm mic shy but uh, this seems to help um, it helps with my you know articulation and whatnot as well um, so hopefully you'll get something out of this video and uh, if you do feel free to give me a thumbs up and uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, uh, comments, anything of the sort, by all means, please post them in the comments section below the video. And we'll go ahead and uh, try to respond to them as we can. And if you have any suggestions for future videos or even any corrections or a better way to do things, um, post them there as well. Um, I'm kind of learning this application, although I've been using it for quite some time. I'm learning it as we go. So uh, I'm new to a lot of these advanced features so if you do have uh something that you see that i'm not doing quite right or if you know there's a better way to do it by all means let me know and we can uh, post an update video and uh you know maybe we can all learn together but anyways thank you for watching the video i appreciate your time and 73 to everyone